There's a whole chicken here. There's a whole chicken. Chicken, grab this chicken and trying to get away. He's got his mouth filled there. Look at him, big, nice, deep grip. Oh, not on the camera, puppy. Not on the camera, boo boo. Look at this funny guy. What's up, girl? Can't swallow any piece. They're eating in a group, in a pack. There's Mr. Fatso. Usually they're in a baby pool or a kiddie pool, uh, just because of the mess, but I want them to get some germs, I want them to get some dirt in their gut. You know, I want, I want it to be a little bit of a mess. I want to build their immune systems. As you can see, they're healthy. Um, no shots. You can analyze a lot about your puppies by watching them eat uh, as a pack. Um, you know, when you're picking a puppy to do sport work or protection work or you know stuff like that, there's a lot of there's a lot of traits you can see early. And usually, um, as the puppy gets older, they, they stick, depending on the type of dogs and the the breed. But um, yeah, I'm learning. I'm watching these guys and getting an idea of who I like, what I like, who I think is going to be, what I think they're going to be. And uh, we'll see in about a year. I mean, I'll take you guys through the process. Uh, these dogs are my bulletproof hybrids. So they're a shepherd blend of terrier and shepherd. Um, we will see if, if I accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish or if it's not what I'm trying to accomplish. So far, so good. Definitely going to be beautiful looking dogs, that's for sure. Um, but with the beauty, I need the bronze, I need the brain, I need the confidence, you know, so I need the drive, I need the loyalty. If it doesn't have that, then it was a fail. But when you start with two phenomenal dogs from phenomenal lineage, um, you shouldn't get anything but phenoms. As you can see, they have to learn how to chew. Everything's bit by bit. It's not just grab and swallow. You know, I'm getting a little drive in there too. These two guys are, I guess, not hungry. You know, I do keep, I do feed them a lot. I keep them full. As they get older, though, I lean them out. I don't like any fat dogs at my house. Nobody's fat. Fat's bad on joints, fat's bad on work, fat's just bad. And I'm not fat either, and I'm not trying to be fat. So this is what I do with my dogs. 
as puppies. Um, at this age, seven seven weeks, they're usually chomping down full chickens, uh, tr beef tripe in whole, and they'll get tired. I mean, it'll tire them out. They're using those jaws, using their teeth, learning how to tear flesh. That way they don't swallow anything like kibble. These guys do get kibble here and there. Um, my choice of kibble when I feed kibble is a canna. Um, origin is good, taste of the wild. I do feed cheap uh, kibble too, Olroy and uh, uh, like science diet to me is crap. But I do feed it so that, you know, in the end, the dogs are solid. Um, I don't feed it for nutritional content per se. I feed the science diet and the, the, the Olroy just as a filler, just to see if they throw any allergies, to see if the dogs are, are basically bulletproof. You know, I'm not trying to build anything that can't handle, um, you know, cheap quality food or something like that. I, I prefer people to feed a better quality food 100%, but I also want the dog to be a dog.